Hey free to play gang, welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be slightly longer, this is about APEP and I'll try my best to get through this as quickly as I can without unnecessarily dragging it for too long. Okay, so the first one is Bai Liu Li, she has a Seer debuff which may be useful for APEP but other than that, I don't think she's really that useful and in fact she does multi-hits. Because of that, I'm just going to chuck her at D, she has little to provide. Next we have Bardon, he counter attacks your allies when their HP is a little bit low. However, he doesn't have a lot on his kit for APEP so I'm going to chuck him at D. Baroness is kind of useful, however she does multi-hits on her first skill which is quite a shame and of course she does multi-hits on her second skill as well. But with that said, I think she still has something in her kit that can be a little bit useful for APEP but I don't really think she's really that good so I'm just going to chuck her at C. Brain is not good for all kinds of content. Chalmers is really good for the end game, by the way. Really, really good in terms of DPS. And now Changpu is an excellent choice for APEP because she has immunity and a lot of heals. However, her AI is rather bad. So I would have put her in S tier if her AI knows how to use her immunity. However, her AI is not that good. Now David is also another Esper that is just not good at anything. And then Drew, also another really good Esper over here. That's why I love to use Drew. Because Drew is so good for both Kronos and APEP. And now Freddy, he is honestly really good for APEP because he does single hits and his damage scales according to his HP and your HP is bound to decrease as well. So I think for APEP, he is going to be a really good choice. The relics that he run with are generally APEP relics. So to run him in APEP is going to slowly build up his stats as well. Paul is not going to be such a good choice over here because he has additional passive attacks. Now Helena, she is not bad, but she doesn't have cleansing effects, which is what sets her apart from Changpu. So because of that, I think I'm going to chuck her at C tier. She's still an okay healer. Now Jean, she has stuns and multi-hit, so she's definitely not going to be a very good choice here. Lauren is not bad, okay, so she does single target heals, which is not very good for APEP in that sense, but she can revive her Esper, so there is a little bit of use over there, so I'm going to chuck her at C. Now Layla, she has poisons, which is decent for the early game, but towards the mid game and the end game, you're not going to be using her that much, so I'm going to have to put her at D, I don't think she carries a lot. Now next, Leon, he's just of the wrong typing, so there you go. Liao is not very useful at all for this stage, and now Melanie, she is okay in terms of like AP control, However, the difficulty of APEP is not because he attacks, it's rather because he counter attacks. So because of that, AP control is not really such a big deal for APEP. I'm going to chuck her at D tier. Now next we have Q. I think his second skill which decreases the enemy's attack, and his first skill which decreases the enemy's defense, and his third skill that generally increases the damage of your AoE Aspers can be quite useful for this stage. So I'm going to put him at A tier. Now next, Tang Yun. He is okay for this stage. He's good in DPS. However, he multi-hits a lot which is where he becomes a little bit less useful in the mid game, so because of that, I'm going to chuck him at B tier. Now, Anki Chai, he's just a really good attack buffer, and in the end game, he's pretty useful as well, so I'm going to chuck him there. Now, Suhua, very good for this content. Zelma, okay, so for Zelma, she has the potential to do a lot of damage because you can drop a lot of debuffs on APEP, because APEP doesn't have a cleanse, and you can use Jacob to stack a lot of poison stacks. So I think Zelma has some niche use here as well, so I think I can put her at A tier, that's quite safe. Now Alexa, not very good for just most ritual content. Anessidora is okay for temporal tower, but not so much for ritual, so I'm just gonna have to put her at uh, uh, C tier, I guess. Her speed up buff is decent, I guess, but that's that's pretty much it, right? So I think, hmm, maybe D tier for her. Arcana is not very good. Now Essenath is really good for the early game, however, APEP is not really so much of an early game content, in my opinion. And I feel like she doesn't really heal, but she does have that damage mitigation, which is okay, it's kinda nice to use. So I think because of that, I'm gonna have to put her at B tier, I think that's where she belongs. Now Bonnie, she's not gonna be so useful over here, in fact, her kit doesn't even do anything for APEP. Next one, we have Catherine. Catherine can reduce the debuffs on your team, right, because of her passive. However, she double hits on her first skill, which gives her two stacks of poisons. So because of that, I don't really think she's actually that useful, so I'm gonna have a chucker at C tier, even though it might seem like, oh wow, she has a perfect kit for APEP, right? But she does not. Okay, next one, we have Celine with the defense buff and the speed up buff. I think because of that, that makes her a little bit more decent, but the thing is, her kit revolves a lot around sleep, which means that you're not gonna be using her to her fullest extent, so I couldn't put her anywhere higher, but I think she can be put at C tier, however, I just feel like, you know, Suhua is really so much better than her. Now next we have Chloe. Chloe is going to be a remarkable DPS Esper, especially for APEP if you are trying to achieve some faster run times. But that's more for like the end game stuff. And now the twins, okay, so the twins is going to be a little bit more interesting. As usual, I'm just going to have to chuck them like at like B tier and all that. So the problem with them is that they do have some multi-hits on them, which is not going to be so useful for APEP. But the thing is the black twin has Seer and Defense debuff. And because of that, I think the both of them still deserve to be at this spot. Now next one we have Dahlia. Dahlia is going to be really good for most PvE content and even PvP content. She is very strong. 
Next up, I think Jose is actually pretty good for A-pair. I'm going to have to put an A-tier. So now, for two reasons, right? One is he defense breaks on his first skill, which means you're probably going to deploy quite a few defense breaks on the boss. And second, he's very tanky, so he's going to be able to survive very well. And also because of how slow you can build him, I'm pretty sure that you can let a hit him a few times to charge up his passive, and therefore his third skill can do some significant damage. So I think because of that, I think he deserves A-tier. Now, Ira decreases AP. Like I said before, AP control is not really that good, so because of that, I'm going to have to chuck her at D-tier. Now, Fabrice, he is okay. Fabrice Fabrice is decent, he has immunity and he can grant your DPS expert another turn if you're lucky or rather if your speed tuning is perfect. So because of that, I think he has a lot of potential if built correctly. Now Falcon, his passive is broken right, but even his passive is not broken, I don't really think he's so good over here because he counter attacks which could potentially drive Apep to attack all of you again, but we'll have to see about that. Now next is Hengria, I think Hengria is really good for Apep, she cleanses which is very important, and the thing is whenever she cleanses she doesn't attack at the same time, so you're not going to get back poison stacks that way, you're just going to cleanse. So because of that I think she's an excellent healer, definitely S tier for me. Next one Jacob, this is the easiest okay, so Jacob is actually one of the experts in this game that can make this content so easy because he has poison immunity for your team and he counters with more poison stacks on the boss. So defeating the boss is a piece of cake as long as you have like Jacob and a bunch of tanky espers who can outlive the boss. Now Jiangwen, she has a lot of poisons and a lot of damage from a nether bloom as well. I think she makes a really good choice over here. A tier. Now Kara like Layla has a lot of poisons and like I said before, I don't think poison is really that good. So because of that, I have to chuck her at D tier. I mean, okay, a lot of you guys are going to say that I'm underestimating like poisons and, and how poison is actually very useful in Temporal Tower and all that based on your newbie's experience. But I can guarantee you that you can just put the same resources into any other Esper, right? You can put the same resources onto any of your supports and like just build and focus on your DPS Espers and you'll be doing so much better. Not only are you going to be doing a lot faster, but you're going to be doing a lot easier as well. Next we have Kaylee, she's just primarily a debuffer, so because of that, I'm just going to have Chucker at D tier. And to add, her element is also not very good for APEP. Now next, Lin Xiao, she is going to be excellent in APEP. She does single damage hits and she does a lot of it. Now next we have Longmian, he has speed up lead which is okay but the rest of his kit is really not good for APEP so because of that I'm going to chuck him at D tier. And now Lu Yi, okay so this guy is a little bit more interesting because he can potentially do a lot of multi hits right but at the same time he has searing debuff and if you're using him with Zelma I think he has a lot of potential there as well so because of that I think I will put him at C tier, I think he's okay. I do use him for my APEP by the way, I do use him and he's doing quite well but the thing is I'm only using him in order to speed tune my team and make sure that my runs are as fast as I can so because of that he's useful for me but I'm not going to recommend him for you. Now Loyan is not going to be very good over here and next we have Lin. I think Lin is not bad okay I think Lin is not bad over here she can do quite decent damage over here but she has triple hits which is not something that I enjoy so because of that I'm going to have to chuck her at C tier I think she's okay for her third skill. Next we have Mona definitely not a good choice even the wrong element as well. Pritzker is also a crowd control as well, so he's not going to have any use over here. Now, Renzi is actually really good, okay? So I'm, I'm struggling between S and A. I think I'll put him at A tier. Now, the reason why Renzi is so good is he can potentially solo APEP on his own. So he also has a defense break on his first skill, and he's extremely tanky just like Joza, but Renzi has a potential, or at least Renzi has a proven track record for soloing APEP, so I'm going to cover that in the future. Now, Sander, he is really good as well, even though I don't really use him for APEP all that much, to be honest, but he is really good for all ritual content. Next one we have Taylor. Taylor single hits and he does a lot of single hit damage and he self buffs himself with crit so he's kind of like a, a lesser version of Lewis in my opinion so because of that I think he still deserves A tier over here. He is capable of doing a lot of damage. And to be honest, it's not very common to see single hit damage dealers. Now next we have Biondina. I think Biondina would have been good if not for her element. So because of that, she's not going to be useful here at all. Now Cecilia, she is slightly... Okay, so the thing about Cecilia is she's always going to be slightly useful in any content because of the fact that she can revive your entire team. So that makes her a really good choice for early game or rather to ensure that your team at least gets that one extra hit down onto the boss which could potentially change your runs from 80% win rate to 100% but that's on a very niche situation, right? So because of that, I think I'm just going to have a chuck her at C tier. I don't really think she brings a lot apart from like her AoE heal which has a pretty long cooldown at the same time. Now next, Clara. I think Clara is really good for APEP. I think Clara can even solo APEP. I will have to test this out one day but I'm pretty sure she can do it. Now Dona is not going to be that useful because of his typing, so he's going to miss a lot, get poisoned, and then eventually just perish. Gabriel is going to be so good for APEP. Gabriel is really really good for APEP. And Hyde as well, Hyde can definitely solo APEP very easily. This is like, this is where Hyde strives the most in my opinion. And now Jin Yu Yao, okay, so she can return the debuffs on your team onto the enemy's team, and every single time she takes a turn, she also cleanses the debuffs on your team by one debuff per ally Esper. So she is slightly useful, but I don't really think that her kit is really all that strong. She is a decent supporter in my opinion for this case. 
So I'm gonna have to put her at B tier, I think that's where she belongs. Now Lewis is gonna be an excellent choice for APAP, even though he multi-hits in a sense that he deals triple hits on his third skill and an additional hit on his second skill, which effectively means that he hits four times. However, his damage output is so, so good. Now Liling is definitely not a very good choice over here because he multi-hits on so many different skills. So unless you're running a specific niche comp where you need the boss to attack you so many times to like, I don't know, maybe like combo with Jacob or something like that. Unless that's what your goal is, I don't really think he has so much potential over here, even though his damage is pretty good. Next, Lucas is not going to be a good choice at all. He has multi-hits and his kit revolves around AP control. Next one, we have Nama. Okay, so I think Nama is pretty good. I think Nama is usable because he does single hits and he does a lot of damage as well if you're bringing a lot of support. So because of that, I am inclined to put him at S tier but probably a low S in my opinion. Now next we have Odin, she is not going to be that useful over here so I'm going to have to chuck her at D tier. Sally is always going to be super strong for all kinds of PvE content and even PvP as well. I think for her it is a given. Now next for Sienna, she has an attack buff and a speed buff which, which is very useful but I think that she specializes a little bit more in AP control as well. But for her case, I think she boosts your team's AP as well which can be a little bit better even though it's random. I don't really like the fact that it's random. So because of that, I think I'm going to have to pull at B tier or rather like in between A and B in my opinion. Now next, okay, believe it or not, I think Tang Xuan is decent over here because he has the potential to land defense breaks even though it's very rare for him to do so. But the thing is, his survivability is quite good. So because of that, I think he's quite good for the early game and mid game players if you want like a slow and steady run, right? So I think because of that, I feel like he might deserve an A tier in my opinion. Now Tether, he's not going to be very useful here because half of his kit does not work. So the only half of his kit that actually works is his searing kit, but the thing is, if you're going to be building him for sear DPS, you're going to have to build him with crit rate and crit damage and all that. But then the first half of his kit becomes useless because that does not actually scale off crit damage. So because of that, I think I'm going to have to chuck in a D tier. He's not in a very good spot in this game at this point of time. Now next we have Tia, she has a speed lead but mostly AP control and some stuns. So because of that, I don't really think she's going to be that useful, but because of her speed lead, I think she has a little bit of use. So because of that, I think I'll just chuck her at C tier. Now next we have Tricky, he is not going to be good at all. He has a lot of multi-hits and he doesn't really do a lot to the boss. Although he can return debuffs on his first skill, but the problem is you double hit to return two poisons. But because you double hit, you're actually getting back the two poison stack. So he's not actually an efficient poison debuffer. And finally, we have Unas. He's going to be very good for all PvP content, all PvE content, everything. So he's going to be very good for APAP as well. And to add, he also gives your team immunity, which can be a little bit clutch at times. So with that said, this is the end of the APAP tier list. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions, any complaints, or anything that you'd like to tell me as well. Do let me know down in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Now with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a little bit longer and I'm so sorry that it dragged on for so long. But hopefully you enjoyed it and if you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content. Now with that said, this has been Daddy Free to Play and as always, I will see you in the next video.